So I don't plan for this video to be long. I want it to be straight to the point. It is totally fine whatever conditioner product that you use on lace units. In this case, this one is from Eva's Wigs. Uh, it's a, the kinky unit, and I wanted you guys to see exactly how this hair actually looks like, what the real texture of it looks like after uh, it's been washed. So if you notice some ways that you can avoid uh, tangling and shedding, is definitely make sure you use a lot of conditioner so that you're able to work it through the hair and just detangle with your fingers. You do not have to use a wig brush, a comb, a wide tooth comb. Avoid that at all costs, especially for units like these that are very kinky in their texture and coily and curly. So if you notice also another tip is the way that I'm actually holding the lace unit, I am actually pulling the hair down towards the crown of the wig. So that's exactly how I choose to hold them. So I'm pulling the hair away from the edges of the wig. So that gives me the ability to just, you know, kind of really get through in the entire hair and not just the top part of the unit, but also the under parts of the unit as well. So this video, I did not want it to be long. Just want you guys to see exactly how I detangle and wash, co-wash uh, wigs once I um, purchase them, especially this wig here with Eva Wigs. This is the kinky texture, like the Afro texture, and I just needed you guys to see that the actual texture of this wig is not what you think. It's not going to look like an Afro texture the entire you know time that you're going to be having this wig unless you do not wash it. So once you wash it or co-wash it, it's going to give you this beautiful curly, curly texture and that's totally fine you guys just need to see the true meaning of the true uh look of the of the wig 